but I say be authentically you. Absolutely. Be, uh, see, everybody, here it is. Give it up for the Lee Attorney. What's up? And, How and, are y'all doing? I'm punk lead. Am I about to get punk? No, you Lee. all good. I'm just trying to Listen. figure it out. Listen, hit Lauren, Lauren, Lauren. This is New York here. This is how oh, we do. Here we go with this okay. New York shit. <laughs> okay. Here we go with this New York stuff, man, man. So what? Do I, I just came on to show love, man, Uncle Stu. You are always in these YouTube streets, always uh, putting in the work, man. And the results are coming. It took me a year to get a thousand subscribers, and you just blowing past all records. So anytime I see you on, and I always want to jump on, and of course, the lovely Lauren <laughs> Melissa, right, right. I know she's up here wondering why she ain't married, but then she gonna what? move to LA of all places, of all places. I'm not wondering why I'm not married. When yeah. I jumped on, that's what I, th I thought. I heard you explaining why you weren't married. Well, because someone asked. Why? Well, I, I'm just saying what I heard. You know, and I thought it was ironic. You talk about why you are married. Did you move to this, the land of, of just, I mean, undateable it, it, people? Yeah. Yes. There was just this, uh, this black content creator. I don't know her name. She's a black woman, young black woman. She, uh, she has like a million subscribers mm. and she's not really in our space. She's outside of, it. I don't know how she came up on my feed, but I watched her video when I thought about you. Uh, Cause you're the only person, only really like YouTuber that I know that's big. It's in LA. And she was talking about how, you know, dating in LA and just living in LA wasn't the thing. And she was saying that even she's surprised because although she has a million subscribers, you know, she moved out there and she's amazed at how fake it is. You know, everybody, all these friendships are, are based on, you know, who has the amount of followers on IG and TikTok and, and uh, you know, YouTube. She was saying that she would go to parties. And when you show up at the party, you have to show your phone. You have to show how many subscribers or followers you have just to get in. She was like, if you don't have a blue check mark, you might as well just stay in the car. Yeah. And I was like, you know, she was talking about how many, um, basically how everybody was just jockeying for friends. And, you know, if, if you suddenly blow up, now you have a lot of friends. If you fall off, you know, no one's calling your phone. No one wants to hang out. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, that's where Lauren moved to, man. <laughs> she could have she could have came down here to Atlanta where everything is cool. You ain't got to show nothing. Mm -hmm. You just got to, you know, you could just got to be yourself. And, you know, you could you could you can relate to folks. You moved to the fakest place on earth. And now I hear you talking about, oh, well, a man just has to ask me and I'm just waiting. <laughs> I said, Jesus, where's the account? And then doesn't, it doesn't mean that he has to be here, though. Like, I, but you you didn't come in on that part. I did say if he lived elsewhere, I would move to where he is. Um, but I will say this. One, I would never like I, I hear everything that you're saying and what sh the content creator said. I, mm -hmm. I've experienced that for sure. Really? So I've never been. So yeah. I don't know if it's Cap or not. I've never been to LA. It's, Shout out to it's LA. definitely true just how fake it is. But um, for me, it doesn't really phase me because I have no intention. And I have no desire to kind of like change who I am. Right. Because I could totally come on here, put on makeup and, you know, put on like I don't. Cause what you see is what you get. I'm not finna fake the funk. Cause let's be honest, who wants to put on makeup every day? Um, so that's me. So I'm I'm content and I'm okay with that. Um, but yeah, I've experienced that. I'm just not phased by it. But I hear you. You know, things. You know, they don't do that in Atlanta. If you're thinking about your next move, you know. <laughs> I if I do, my next move would probably be Texas, though. Something. Yeah, Texas is Texas is popping. <laughs> so shout out to Texas. Even your boy was thinking about, man, you know, they ain't got no state taxes out there. You, you, your boy's thinking about Texas too. I got my eye on it. That is mm -hmm. very, very true. Yeah. yeah, I told you, you better, you better, you better look at the seven five seven. We we chilling right here. Mm -hmm. Where's the seven five seven? I, ho I hope it ain't in New York. It's no, near it. See, 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 why you always talk about New York, man? New York is yeah. cool. We just got high real estate. 
I mean, I know you've had some people on there that um kind of represented us not too light, you know. But Facts. I'm a good brother. Facts. <laughs> Barbara Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> Every time Barbara come up with her bed style Brooklyn cell phone, I'm like, here we go, Barbara. And yeah, Barbara you know, was on that BS. <laughs> you know, I, you know, I'll be like, Lord, somebody yeah. got to get up there and represent right now. Yeah, we just, yeah. you know, it's, it's a, uh, listen, I, I have a lot of respect for you, New Yorkers. Y'all have been through so much. Y'all are a very hard people. All of y'all seem so hard when y'all come down to Atlanta. You know, the South, you know, we're just relaxed down here. Everybody's nice. We're polite, you know. The all New Yorkers, at least it's how it used to be. I went to the mall yesterday and I put it on put this on my IG. There were weapons detectors and checkpoints in, in the, the mall. fanciest mall that we have in the state. The fanciest mall that this is not some ghetto mall. This isn't Greenbrier, this ain't South DeKalb. The fanciest mall that we have in the state has weapons detectors and security checkpoints. You think you're up in Atlanta Hartsville, <laughs> Atlanta Hartsville Jackson Airport? No, you're ass at the mall. So I was like, oh God, it's getting getting deep. Well, it's getting deep down here. Maybe I need to shut up talking about New York, or maybe it's just all you New Yorkers down here. It wasn't <laughs> like that. We don't have no problems at Linux for this influx of New Yorkers. You know, that's the problem. Well, well, I saw that. Um, I saw that on your IG, but I couldn't. When I say I can relate, but I couldn't relate because it was like, okay, I don't know enough about Atlanta to know what is he actually showing, and you it's know, the best but, mall but, uh, it used to be. Mall. It's just crazy now. Absolutely crazy. Uh, but yeah, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to bogart the whole thing. I just wanted to, I, whenever I see you and, uh, and I'm presentable, you know, I always <laughs> want to show up and show love <laughs> Uncle Stu. You were always killing the game. And then oh. when I hear some woman talking about she ain't married and she's way, you know, I'm like, oh, <laughs> you know, whenever I hear that, I got to jump in. I got to jump in. We're going to see what the accountability is, right? I really hate that. You missed, you missed it. I was holding the women accountable, too. You got to go back and watch. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's right, Lauren. Tell her, watch the replay. Watch yeah, the I'm going to watch. I absolutely he, watch he, the he replay. Was trying to take, he was trying to take your boy's manosphere Card, but you know, I'm holding it down. I'm holding it down. Man, they were trying to snatch it away. You know, I I, I stepped outside of the manager, but I walked outside the house and you know started talking about that Cardi B, Tasha K stuff. <laughs> it's deep out there, boy. I, 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 I gotta go back in the house. <laughs> I do not see how women do it. Women out here in this whole gossip sector, beef sector. I don't know, Lauren, if you've ever had an experience outside of kind of you know, I stay but, in my little lane. That's not for me. <laughs> it's deep. I'm all set. I'm boy. All set. I just got somebody that sent me an email talking about um, they want me to come on their show. And, you know, they're big, but they're outside. And they sent me the link. And I looked at it. And I looked at the person's videos and stuff. I was like, mm, 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 mm. I have yeah, learned my... Travel. Yes, yes. I was like, y'all can do that if y'all want to, but <laughs> I ain't doing that. And then it's so, it's so, it's so, it's so, it's like choosing sides. You know, that's what I noticed covering the whole Tasha K, Cardi B, and I was trying to, I was trying to be down the middle, trying to call it down the line. Mm -mm, you got to pick a side over there. Either you are Cardi B or you are <laughs> Tasha K. And yeah. you know it. They didn't like, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to call things fair. You know, I see Tasha K doing stuff, but now I see, you know, she's doing some good stuff now with the whole interview that she had with the false allegations against men. You know, we are all about that over here, calling out BS false allegations. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, people don't, you know, they're just like, listen, either I love you or I hate you. That's how it is over there. It's not a lot of nuance. So we got it good over here in the manosphere. You know, people talk stuff about us and, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, it might be a little bit deserved, some criticism. You know, we're not perfect over here, but out there with the women, 